<laughs> Roba. Amu jaona hiyo pose yetu. Turudie tena mic eh. Turudie tena. Ah turudie hapo. Take two from there and all. Tutende sasa. Five steps. One, two, three, four, five. I love my pose. Hapo. Bas. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Jana tuliwaambia it is Divas edition today. Robas ni kamera gani natumia? Jeep ama haya sawa ni kwa Jeep leo. Divas edition. The only men in studio today is Bernard Ndong and myself. The rest is going to be done by the ladies in studio. Wameniambia leo lazima pesa yangu iende. 40,000 to give out on quick fire. Remember I said some of the questions I asked yesterday nitazirudia leo. Zingine nimechanganya kidogo tu vile ilikuwa. So, Bernard, what do we have? Well, as you mentioned, it is a Divas edition. You can see we have the lovely ladies here. And also in the background, they are uh, sitting in the stands of uh, the World Cup band show. Uh, we also have some ladies. And on the decks, we also have another lady who will be joining us just to tell us more about music as, and the beautiful game. And you can see another lady there just dribbling. Very, very good juggling skills there. Uh, Yasmin is her name. Uh, her ball control is impeccable, Mike Kokini. I can tell you for a fact, I can only do that maybe for about 45 seconds or so. She's been doing it for the past two minutes nonstop. We also have another lady who has been following proceedings uh, uh, as far as this year's World Cup is concerned. And that is our colleague Mukami Wambora who is in Moscow in Russia and we now link up with Mukami Wambora in Russia. Mukami, uh, if you can hear me, uh, I, I can tell for a fact yesterday you had the war paint per se. The Senegalese flag was on your face. Uh, I hope you used water paints and not oil paints, uh, but uh, ultimately it was worth the while Senegal finally making Africa proud. Hi, Bernard. Hi, ladies in studio. Yeah, what an exciting day yesterday. It was such an incredible experience to actually go to Spartak Stadium myself and get to see the game live. Us and the crew here, we had an incredible time getting to cheer Senegal on the fans. Though few in number were loud and they were really excited. And yeah, it was just a great, great atmosphere watching uh, the first African team to actually get. Yeah, can you, you can, as you can hear, Bernard, one of the things that really stuck is uh, how the Senegalese fans are very aware that the entire continent is reveling in that victory of theirs. And for the Polish fans, disappointed that their star player, Robert Lewandowski, wasn't able to deliver in this first game. Mokami I can I can just tell the, the excitement from the Senegalese fans definitely lifting the continent high. For the Polish, definitely they had to be dejected. Uh, they expected a victory against uh, the Senegalese, the Lions of Teranga, but they were able to dominate. Well, it was mixed fortunes for African teams. Mukami Wambora, Senegal won, but in another game, Egypt were facing off against Russia. Unfortunately, for the for for the Egyptians, in essence, they are out of the, this year's World Cup. They can only just play their final game, and that's it for them. Yeah, and it seems that they crumbled in just the, the opening half of the second half because they weren't playing too badly. Mosala was finally starting and he started to threaten quite a bit. And then you just, like 10 minutes and three goals were scored and Russia are now in cloud nine. Of course, for them, they must be really excited. They've won two of the games and in essence, they should be qualifying to the next round. What they're waiting to see is whether they'll be top of the group or second and who they'll face now from Group B, if it'll be Morocco, Spain, um, um, Portugal or Iran. So they're looking forward to seeing that. But yeah, there are a lot of excited fans. Um, the difference you'll notice is that when Mexico beat Germany, the entire city was buzzing and you could hear them singing and dancing the whole time. Russians, they're a bit more subdued. You can tell they're happy, but then they're not as as, as excited or I don't know how they weren't celebrating it as much um, for Egypt though sad sad time Musala coming in got his goal at the very least but I'm sure that's not uh, a good enough consolation for him I'm sure deep down he wonders if he would have made a difference versus Uruguay and yeah for Egypt in essence if um, depending on the result in this next match they're essentially out of the competition and they'll be playing Saudi Arabia just for pride well, thank you very much, Mukami Ambora, with a live update from Moscow. I'm hoping you've been learning some Russian, so I'll just tell you thank you, Spasiba, as they say in Russia. Thank you so much for that update there in Moscow. Uh, just recapping how the reaction was as far as Senegal's epic victory yesterday, Michael Kinyi, uh, and the dejection of the Egyptian fans, the pharaohs. Well, they're essentially out of the World Cup with one game to go, Mike.